360 Yield Center. As harvest progresses, wanted to share some interesting results that uh, we're seeing uh, across the Corn Belt this year. And that is really good yield levels with really low or moderate le levels of nitrogen. And part of the reason we're seeing that is mineralization. Now, your soils have an organic component and those organic levels will produce nitrogen and release nitrogen as they mineralize. Now mineralization is really part of a process. It's a biological process that's dependent on, on oxygen, temperature, moisture, and pH. And this year in many parts of the Corn Belt, we experienced really good temperature levels in our soil. We had good oxidation, not too much, not too little oxygen, not too much, not too little water. And where we have balanced pHs, in a lot of our fields, we experienced very good mineralization, 25 plus pounds of nitrogen for every percent organic matter in those soils. As a result, I've heard yield levels this year in central Illinois, 240, 250 bushel corn with 180 pounds of applied in. I, I heard a yield result in Ohio of 180 bushel corn with 105 pounds of applied in. If you contrast this year to last year, last year we had a, a lot of in-season rainfall. We lost a lot of in. So the growers who went out and measured and then supplemented with additional in were able to use that system and grow more corn, but they had to supplement with more in. This year is completely different. This year we experienced a lot of mineralization and growers who went out and measured in season and then adjusted their nitrogen rates down, we're still able to grow really good corn and yet apply less in. And if you think about it, 30, 40 pounds less in is the equivalent of 10 to 12 bushel more corn. So that's a real benefit to them. And they also probably kept nit nitrates out of the groundwater by applying less. So having a system where you apply a good base rate, measuring in season and adjusting, Last year you had to adjust and add more. This year, you, if you adjusted and added less, it didn't affect your yield, but you saved a lot on your input costs. And that's the beauty of a system where you apply a base rate, measure in season, and then adjust accordingly.